Typhoon of historic proportions has slammed into the Philippines and is making its way toward Vietnam tonight. In its wake, Super Typhoon Haiyan is leaving widespread damage from uprooted trees, cut power lines, and destroyed homes. Millions of people were evacuated ahead of the storm. Images like these are something we understand right here on the Gulf Coast. Local 15's Darren Singleton is live in our newsroom tonight. Well, Darren, you've talked with people who have experienced both typhoons and hurricanes, technically the same kind of storm. Well, in our hemisphere, they're called hurricanes, but in the eastern hemisphere, they are referred to as typhoons. And some say they have a different intensity, even personality, even a different sound to them. As Super Typhoon Haiyan leaves the Philippines, it marches on toward Vietnam, bringing back unpleasant memories for one former Navy CB who lives in Mobile. His name is James Hoveter, and he served in Vietnam in 1968 when another typhoon, Typhoon Bess, plodded through much the same area being hit today. 23 inches of rain fell in some areas, and now Typhoon Haiyan brings those memories flooding back to Hoveter. It lasted for days. The weather, the, the winds and the heavy rain uh -huh. during the whole time, it seemed like it lasted for like two or three days and just wouldn't stop. Back then I was a lot slimmer <laughs> and it, it, to have sure footing I would have to carry a sandbag with me. Bring me down to be able to walk. It would blow my feet out from under me if it didn't. Now remember the CBs were members of the construction battalions and had to rebuild washed out camps and roads, but Hoveter says the typhoon slowed down the war, but it didn't stop it. They were attacked daily as the rebuilding from that typhoon began, and when they jumped in foxholes for protection, he says those were filled with water. Fortunately, today's relief workers won't be facing that danger. And one other thing, this typhoon, Greg, is being called Havater, I mean, uh, is being called uh, Haiyan, but in the Philippines, they're actually calling it Yolanda, so you may hear both today, Greg.